That's a complete shit show. A complete mess and a disgrace to the Solaris crown, my ass! Oh, I'll give him something to complain about. I'll ruin that pretty little matchmaking ball of his. Make sure he's the only thing people talk about for over a hundred years to come. <laughs> Is that... Oh, hi there. You're... You're the first born in Maloney, aren't you? Are you alright? What's going on? The matchmaker gave you a three? But... But you are absolutely perfect down there! Elegant clothes, a beautiful smile, perfect mannerisms... Why, you're the definition of a perfect score! Why the hell would he give you a three? Oh, being shy or whatever doesn't grant you a lower score than mine! It's absolutely ludicrous! Hmm... I got a five. Along with the package of the matchmaker telling me what an utter disappointment I am to my land and people. <laughs> sure, one may say I am conventionally attractive, but I have a little something the other princes and princesses around here don't. I have this horrible personality trait where I don't take shit from anyone. So I may or may not have cursed her out when he commented on my messy hair. You try walking in that storm out there, sir, and we'll see how well your hairstyle stays put. Ugh! I just can't stand him! The way he made those poor things downstairs cry with just a few words! I firmly believe the devil himself made that asshole! And your score just proves my point even more. Of course I mean it. I never lie. You are the definition of a perfect heir. And I'm sure your true match won't look at your score. They will only see your bright eyes and the beautiful smile of yours. Oh, the matchmaker can bug off for all I care. And any respectable partner shouldn't care about what he has to say either. If they do, are they really worth your eternal love? Precisely! We have. A very long time ago. Don't you remember? It was at your father's coronation. You were perhaps... Eleven? At any rate, you spent the entire coronation hiding behind your mother's skirt. And then at the party, when you finally dared to leave her side, a boy poured juice all over you. You started crying, and I, absolutely furious, punched that boy right in his face. Sure, I got into a ton of trouble once my father found out. I was locked in a servant's outhouse for a week after that. Oh, but damn, did it feel nice to teach that boy a lesson. We hid in the garden for maybe an hour or so, fully convinced no one would find us. You do remember me? Oh, of course I recognized you. How could one forget a face like yours? Oh, come on. I didn't mean it like that. I meant... <sighs> I meant that even after all this time, I still see your face when I close my eyes at night. Oh, I remember your dimples, your bright eyes. <laughs> I remember your red and runny nose, because you were still crying after I had punched him, even though you smiled. Oh, I remember how your hands were shaking because you were convinced this incident had ruined your father's coronation. And while we sat there in the garden, I held them the entire time. Oh, I remember how in just about an hour I managed to fall for you. And for some stupid reason, I never got over it. No matter how hard I tried. 
I'm sorry. Can you say that again? I believe I must have misheard you. No, 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 not that. The thing you said afterwards. Um. Oh my. Uh, are you sure? You barely know me. We spent time together years ago. And then never saw each other again until now, where we have just been conversing for a few minutes. You can't be serious. There are many princes and princesses downstairs much better suited to be your partner than I. Oh, for starters, I sound worse than a sailor. And I don't intend on changing for anyone, just to fit a role. That eleven-year-old me who punts that kid hasn't changed one bit and won't comply with society's expectations just because it's the proper thing to do. I would just bring your name down. I firmly believe you should give this a second thought. You can most possibly get anyone you please. Don't settle for just anyone. Of course I do. I just don't want you to end up regretting your choice. Okay, if you are truly sure you wish to spend the rest of your days with me, then I won't leave you. Excuse me, you... you... Wish to ruin the ball? Oh, I see. You ever had me before. Well, I suppose two of the most disappointing royals being the first to get engaged would be a slap in the face for that asshole. <laughs> and to add on to his frustrations, we're matching tonight. We're both wearing blue. Oh, it's almost as if fate decided we should ruin the matchmaking ball. But I still have one more idea that will truly make this ball memorable. <laughs> oh, you'll see, sweetheart. Take it as my engagement gift to you. Now dry those tears, and let's walk back down together support me on patreon subscribe and make sure to ring that notification bell to know when i post new content and please feel free to join the lotus garden links in the description thanks for listening and look forward to more good night everypony